You're listening to the My Morning Devotional Podcast, Episode 2. Today's devotional is called, We Were All, Yes, All of Us, Were Created in His Image. Hey, I'm Allison Elizabeth, a faith-filled, coffee-obsessed baker from Miami, Florida. As my dreams widened and my to-do list got longer, I found it harder to find devotional time. After seeing many people struggle to do the same, I set out to produce a five-minute daily dose of heaven. This is the My Morning Devotional Podcast. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. I pray that you had a blessed Monday yesterday and that today is no different. Today's devotional is a little bit long, so I wanted to jump straight into it. And uh, this is just to ensure that we're underneath those five minutes. And so today's verse comes out of 1 John 2, 9. And it says, Anyone who claims to be in the light but hates a brother or sister is still in the darkness. And I just wanted to talk about our heavy hearts. You know, I know that my heart hurts. It breaks for what breaks God's heart. And what we're seeing today and have seen for generations is the very evil that Jesus sacrificed his life to destroy. This devotional was a hard one for me to write. Most people have watched the news this week and may have even thought to themselves, God, where are you? Can I encourage you? God is here. He is fighting injustice with us. Every day he takes up the battle against the enemy. Every day he protects his people against hate and fear. For hundreds of years he fought against slavery and the fight never stopped and will never stop. Today, he fights against racism. He fights the prejudice spirit that looms. And tomorrow, the enemy will attack with new schemes. But I can promise you that God will be there fighting for us. When I set out to write these devotionals, I set out to spread love in this dim, dim world. My prayer today is that we continue to vow to extend the heart of God to our black community. You see, the spirit he deposited into me and the spirit he deposited into you, it doesn't see skin color, ethnicity, or socioeconomic status. It only sees one thing, his creation. And as perfect as we are in his eyes, we all have different features. We have different colors, different color skin, different color eye, different color hair. We have different hair texture. We speak different languages. We have different personalities different interests and hobbies. We even have different passions, but we share one thing, and that's our creator. Alone, we can't save the world. It's not our job. We weren't created to be the savior. You weren't born on another planet, and you weren't given the ability to shoot laser beams from your eyes and wear a red cape. But you know what you were born to do? You were born for something much greater. You were born to love, to be loved, and to extend grace. You see, together we can stand against the very evil that's tearing us apart. How? Well, by standing in unity, by extending grace and showing mercy to others, by listening to our neighbors and by serving other people. Do you know what upsets the enemy? Not a bunch of believers. No, you see, the enemy could care less if we identified as a Christian because he knows that he can get anyone to do his dirty work for him. We've seen him do his worst for hundreds of years. For many generations, people have preached love by slandering the very people Jesus died to save, the very people Jesus created, and that's not the heart of God. What upsets the enemy is a unified people. Unity means that we can stand together no matter what our exterior looks like. It means we can extend love, a helping hand, and it means that we can look at evil and turn the other way. As faithful Christians and as truly loving people, we are called to live more like Jesus every single day. And how can we do that? Well, we first need to study his very spirit. You see, Galatians 5, 22, 23 says, But the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. The best news? This is the spirit he deposited into you. I urge you to check yourself daily. When division has a way of creeping through, check your heart and bring it back to the one who calls us all, yes, all of us, wonderfully made in his image. So are you showing love, joy, peace? How about forbearance? Another translation of the Bible refers to this as patience. 
Are you showing goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control? We first have to start with us, and then we can inspire those around us to live according to His will. So today's prayer is very simple. Jesus, we thank you for a generation of believers who will no longer watch your creation be persecuted. We pray for peace. Lord, we need peace now more than ever. We pray for the strength to fight the good fight. We pray to first extend the fruit of the Spirit in our hearts, in our home, with our friends and family. This way it can pour over to our neighbors and those around us. We pray to love others the way you love us all. You see, we don't have the answers and we don't need the answers. All we need is the faith to know that you are in control. We love you. We love your beautiful people. And in your mighty name, we pray. Amen. So there you have it, your five-minute daily dose of heaven. Thank you for tuning in today. I pray these devotionals empower you to take on your day. Make sure to follow the My Morning Devotional account on Instagram at MyMorningDevo. There you will find quick links to subscribe to our podcast and the written devotionals. Until tomorrow, I pray that not only your latte is strong, but your love for Jesus is stronger.